Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Uh, today the goal of this video is to make the highest horsepower of any three cylinder engine ever, obviously in real life, but ever in the automation universe as well. So I was taking a look to see who had the highest record on the internet at least, and as far as I could find, uh, Forgotten Mustard which is, you know, another YouTuber does automation beam and G stuff. Uh, he had 1,200 horsepower from his 3.2 liter three-cylinder engine. And I'm telling you today, we're going to beat that. We're going to take a three-cylinder engine, make it have over 1,200 horsepower, and stick it in a hypercar. I know, it's going to be absolutely insane. Um, so we're going to do that today, make it into an all-time crazy hypercar. Uh, we're going to design this thing to look like a crazy hypercar as well. Uh, I'm actually having a challenge in my Discord. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to join. What the challenge is, is a design challenge where you design the coolest looking hypercar or supercar. Basically, 2020 hypercar slash supercar. You design a car to look like that, and then you just send in a photo. So that's all you gotta do. The winner or winners, so uh, there's usually one to three winners that I find is like the top tier cars. Uh, they win a $10 Steam gift card. So if you guys want to uh, take a shot at winning a $10 Steam gift card, uh, join my Discord link in the description. And then uh, uh, send in one picture of your 2020 hypercar. Back to our car here. 1,300 horsepower at least. I mean, that's the goal. 1,300, so it's beating it by 100 horsepower for a three-cylinder engine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go for steel panel material. Now, the reason why I'm not going for the lightest car possible is because I actually want to make this car heavy. It's going to be quite light with a three-cylinder engine. I want to make this car over 4,000 pounds. It's going to be a quote-unquote hybrid. I know, I'm going all out today. Uh, what I'm going to do is design the car, because the engine itself is going to have a stupid power band. You'll see later on, the engine's going to make like all the power at like peak RPM. Um, and I want to make the power a little more smooth, just for driving, at least in Beam and G. So I'm going to modify the car in Beam and G to make it sort of act like a hybrid. It's going to have low-end power. I'm going to hopefully change the engine sound as well, so it sounds sort of hybrid-esque in Beam and G. So we're doing quite a bit today. So we're going to go for a monocoque chassis, uh, which is totally fine. We can go for corrosion-resistant steel. That doesn't actually really matter. And push rod front and rear. Now this car is going to be a concept car. It's going to be a concept quote-unquote hybrid, because hybrids aren't actually in automation, or Beam and G as far as I know. A quote-unquote hybrid three-cylinder all-wheel drive hypercar with around 2,000 horsepower. We're going to bump up the horsepower Beam and G, but the automation three-cylinder engine is going to have around 1,300 or so. So let's go ahead and start a new project here. And I'll go over... What needs to be done here to have the highest horsepower three-cylinder engine possible? I know, we're going to have the record. I'm, I'm breaking records. Fastest car, we got the highest horsepower ever. Now we've got the highest horsepower for a three-cylinder engine. Of course, we want the best possible engine. And this thing is going to be quality spam. So we're going to go for right around a 3.1 liter engine. We want a maximum bore, uh, if we can, around maximum bore. And lower it down. Ideally, under a four-inch stroke. Uh, we'll probably even need... You know, we might be able to get more horsepower than my test cars then. So I'll go for a 3.2 liter. And I might lower to 3 liters depending on what we need. So make sure the year is 2020. Increase the quality to plus 15. Now this car is of course going to be quality spammed for the engine at least. Because we're going for a, a crazy amount of power. Let's go for a 10 to 1 compression ratio. Turbocharged. Race tune preset. Uh, we will tune it more. Obviously. Direct injection. The best of the best. And we'll increase the RPM to like 9,000. Plus 15. And give it um, no mufflers or catalytic converters because we don't need those. So, to start off, right now we've got 450 horsepower, which is pretty darn good. We're going to increase the RPM. If we change this, then the, the engine dies. We have to lower the this a little bit. That'd be 1355. You know what? Just because I don't... I want the engine to run. The engine has to run a Beam and G without modding it. Um, but it's going to be modded anyways. Uh, you know what? We'll leave it. So it only makes 1355. I'm fine with 1355. That's the new record. Alrighty, I know. You can get higher, but that's the new record. Uh, we're going for this body here. They're both the exact same. One just has drag and one doesn't, even though the drag doesn't actually matter. Um, a couple of things you'll notice about the body is the chassis sticks through. So I'll have to go ahead and hide the chassis in Beam and G and Automation. Uh, we're going to go ahead to drive train anyways. All-wheel drive, dual clutch, 7-speed obviously. I should make it an 8-speed actually. Maybe I'll make it an 8-speed in Beam and G just for fun. Let's give it plus five on the gear shifters. Let's give it big old tires, semi-slicks obviously. Let's give it less than three. Let's give it like 355s and let's give it 315s in the front. And you can see here, you can see that. Why is that like that? This body, it is a mod body uh, and it's actually based off the uh, Bugatti 
Bolide or Bolide or Bobolidi. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. You can correct me in the comments below. It, it, it's a Bugatti car body. That's totally fine. Let's go for brakes. Big old six pots. And let's go four pots in the rear. Like, massive brakes. Let's go for a plus five in the quality. I want the car to be good driving, but I also want it to um, uh, not be too heavy. I'm not going to do I'm not going to quality spam the rest of the car, even though plus five is already pretty high. Let's go for a... Um, Let's go for a premium heads-up display, plus five. Let's give it the best of the best here. Advanced safety, because it's going to add weight and it's going to be fancy. Let's go for active sport for now. I might change that later on. So, right off the bat here, 4,100 pounds. It's got 75,000 sportiness, <laughs> which, uh, that seems totally right. I'll take that. We'll increase the top speed to 500 kilometers an hour. Make it really short gearing. Uh, 2.9 is quite quick in automation. It's going to be faster than that for sure in Beam and G. Way faster. It's going to be under 2 seconds, guys. I'm telling you right now, this car is going to be quicker than 2 seconds to 60. This car is basically my magnum opus. I mean, Automotive Flux made his magnum opus. And Automotive Flux, if you're watching this, 1v1 me, bro. Alright, we'll take my magnum opus versus yours, even though mine's going to have 2,000 horsepower and be a hybrid, hybrid in quotations. I mean, it's still, it's still comparable. I'll, I'll take off the uh, electric motor in quotations for you. So, the basics are done. Um, 1,355 horsepower from a 3.2 liter 3-cylinder engine. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. I mean, we can get more. Uh, I think we could probably get 1,400 if we really try. I, I might do some more tuning, um, but what I'm going to do now... Oh, the weight distribution is actually really good. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is do a time lapse of me designing this car. Uh, and then I'm going to go over, maybe test and tune a bit of things and stuff. Uh, then we're going to hop in and discuss the design back in automation. Then we're going to go to Beam and G and drive the crap out of this thing. So sit back, relax, guys. And of course, I hope you enjoy. And we're off starting the design for our Swedish hypercar supercar thing. And what I'm doing first is doing the generic shape of the front end using reverse dog tape, having these sort of P-shaped headlights uh, that goes into uh, this big rectangular bumper, which I'm going to modify into the shape that I want. So I add this sort of notch in the front, similar to an iPhone, but it's a car, not an iPhone. And then add these um, sort of parts to the bottom of the grill that sort of flick up uh, into the notch in the front end. The headlights are again going into the front end, and I'm just adding... Uh, basically headlight fixtures to make it look like the borders of my grill, basically making the P-shapes complete now. Uh, then modifying the front end, because this front end is a bit of a weird shape, it sort of notches up in the top of the hood, uh, and I do play around having a Swedish flag logo and some hood vents there, but I am toying with the idea of uh, making the notch look kind of flat. Um, obviously this is a very sped up time lapse, so it's hard to see everything. Right now what I'm doing is just sort of filling in the headlights, making sure the headlights are all hunky-dory, uh, and adding some details to the more, the front end of the, in general, of the car. So I do do the outline, I do sit on the side and look at the side of what I want to do, uh, adding our own uh, daytime running lights on the side. So I work on the headlights now, adding all the daytime running lights, one single projector in the middle, add some glass over top, uh, and that's pretty much done for the front part there, adding some sort of winglets in the front, um, changing the color to red, but then again, I, I go ahead and I delete everything in the front end on the top hood and just add no Swedish flag in the front and just add some details on the top hood to give them some body shape, body lines similar to some modern Ferraris. Uh, making the front end com come off as completely flat now instead of angled like it was before. I think it looks a lot better. The mirrors are very thin, very quirky looking. I kind of like them. Adding a big old vent on the side uh, and then this body doesn't have any door jams. So what I did was go ahead and make my own custom door jams using reverse dog tape and then some grill fixtures behind that adding a really simple door handle. Now this is a concept car. This is not supposed to be a production car. Uh, one big hood scoop, or roof scoop on the roof, sorry. And the tail lights uh, are getting the similar P treatment, like the front except for the rear. A uh, similar shape to, I think, some modern uh, McLarens, maybe some modern uh, Audi, etc. Some modern things, etc. Um, <clears throat> then just shaping up the rear end, basically. Again, it's a concept car. It's not crazy realistic in design, maybe, but I think it looks pretty cool. Adding a similar P shape, uh, daytime running light, or daytime parking light. I don't know. It's a daytime light, I guess. Um, as in the front, but to the rear now. Uh, a similar similar P shape obviously. We've got a name for the car uh, and we are just adding some details to the rear taillights and the rear end in general, sort of shaping it up. It's one big gaping hole that we're going to make into, into a bunch of smaller uh, holes in the back end, adding a area for our license plate, adding our dual exhaust, even though it's a three-cylinder car, and then adding a rear diffuser, or I mean starting off with a license plate mount that I changed, but then I changed back to a rear diffuser, adding one light in the back, adding some glass over the taillights, which looks kind of wonky in Beam and G Drive. And in front of us is the 2020 Magnus v Hanar Concept 3.
Alright guys, and like I said, this is the 2020 concept car, the Magnus Vihanar Concept 3, Visionary Concept 3. It is Magnus's magnum opus, of course. The body is a little bit glitchy, as you can tell here. There's a little bit of tearing, only on one side. Uh, that's why the back looks a little bit weird right here and stuff. There's nothing I can do to fix that. It's just, it is what it is. But the body itself is still super, super cool. Let's go over the design and the tweaks I made. Then we'll hop into Beam and G and drive this thing. So, front end design, it is similar uh, to some of my previous Magnus vehicles. It's got this uh, vertical LED line on the side that goes from the bottom to uh, the top of the hood, basically. And if we actually turn on the lights here, it is the taillights. Uh, we do have it coming down a little bit here, so it's got a little bit of an angry eyebrow there as well. So we've got two LEDs now instead of one, which is the usual Magnus car. we got some uh, black accents on the side there. We have one projector instead of two. Most Magnus cars have two projectors. This concept only has one. I know, crazy, right? Uh, this mod body has no doors. So I decided to make my own two doors out of uh, reverse dog tape and some some other things as well. So just simple doors. we got some simple door handles down there. Just nothing crazy detailed. The wheels, I might change them. Big old wing on the back, this is actually, I think it's a Koenig Seg wing, correct me if I'm wrong. The back end is pretty aggressive, we got the same sort of um, shaped taillights as the headlights, except they're just at a different angle. Uh, it's like a P-shaped headlight and taillight, and this is like a P-shape but on its side with the taillights connecting, uh, which is pretty dang cool. If we turn on the actual brake lights, there's our brake lights, we have one down here as well, like one little cooler one. A uh, rediffuser, we have these dual exhaust on top, even though it's more like quad exhaust. Uh, even though this car only has three cylinders and it's actually a hybrid, so we honestly didn't even need to have like flamboyant exhausts. But I wanted them anyways. I thought they looked pretty cool. Uh, we got a big old air intake on the the roof there. This thing gets absolutely tons of air suck. Now I'm not sure if the air is sucking for the engine because the engine doesn't need that much air suck. Because we got those, we got these, we got we got like this one on top, these two on the side, and these on the on the other side. So I'm not sure if we actually needed all the air suck, but I think it's more for airflow than for air suck on the engine. But you know what? You can never have enough air suck. You could always have more air suck. You know, if there's one thing I've learned in life is that, you know, the more air suck, the better. Uh, we're going to do an 8-speed dual clutch transmission in BMG because I think 8-speeds will be better. The tires are a bit different. You can do, we can do 670 kilometers an hour if we wanted to. That's totally fine. Uh, we went for progressive springs. Now... Active sport, so it's a bit more fancy, a bit more futuristic. We've got semi-adaptive dam semi dampers, which is pretty fancy. I mean, for a hypercar, it's not, oh, it's not crazy. Man, these mirrors. Those mirrors are crazy. Man, this thing just looks cool. The front end, it's got a bit of a vibe from some Ferrari models, I think. Uh, it's got some Koenig Sig in there as well. And the back is uh, pretty much mostly original. I actually copied a little bit of the basic shape from the uh, McLaren Artua. Uh, but besides that, it's, it's all me, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do is modify this car. Then we're going to hop in BMG. Um, I'll go over everything that's modified once I'm in BMG. So I'll see you guys there in a sec. All right, finally, guys, we are in BMG Drive with my Magnus uh, Hybrid Hypercar. Uh, first thing you guys will want to check out is on the left-hand side, that is our new power and torque curve. So what I did to simulate, um, in some way, a hybrid, I gave it a lot more power, a lot more of a flatter power curve down low, and then it sort of tapers off uh, near 5, 6,000 RPM, and that's where the, the gas motor comes in and poop, uh, plays more of a, a, a role. So it's got 1300 horsepower from the gas motor, then it's got, I think, another 700 horsepower peak from the electric motors. It makes around, around 2050 horsepower or so, at about 2250 newton meters of torque. The next thing we're going to notice is when I start this car up, it's got the same starter sound, that's okay. Well, it sounds different. It sounds different. So, what I did, I did I did a couple things. Um, I tuned the brakes a little bit more in BMG because the, the, the car could not cope with the amount of power it has now. Uh, the braking is not ideal. Um, besides that, I just tuned the engine and the sound of the car. So, the sound of the car is a mix of a uh, Volkswagen IDR race car. Uh, I think it's an IDR race car. So, it's... um. It's, it's this electric whirring that happens throughout all the RPMs. Then we've also got the mix of a stock BMG inline six engine sound that's modified. So it sounds a bit different. I was going for sort of a vacuum cleaner sound because the engine is probably still muffled with its emissions and all that stuff because it's, it's it's the future, you know? Uh, it's a three cylinder with tons of emissions and stuff even though there's no mufflers or anything on this car. That's fine. Okay. So it sounds pretty cool if we put it in gear here and roll it for just roll it forward and slowly drive it. A little loud, might be a little bit loud. It's also quite quick. The gearing was been changed as well. I added one more gear because I thought that'd be kind of cool. So it's got an 8-speed 
uh, dual clutch gearbox that's only a manual mode. There's no automatic mode. It's pretty quick. So let's test a 0 to 60 here. So we are on the drag strip. This is going to be a 0 to 100 or 62 miles an hour, I think. So it's going to be a little more than 60. Uh, we're testing on the drag strip, obviously, for the most traction. Uh, this is going to be the official time of the uh, new Magnus Visionary, uh, in quotations, um, 3. So let's go ahead. Just launch it for max RPM, because whatever. We only need to stay in the first gear for this. So 0 to 101 kilometers an hour was 1.5 seconds. Now, we did modify the car to have more power, I know. But even with the stock engine, it still did 0 to 60 in 1.5. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'll, I can post some screenshots. Before I actually modify I'm pretty sure I got 1.4. So I actually think it was faster before. Uh, we're going to do one quick lap. I think we'll do a lap around the automation test track. Because honestly, I haven't done that in a while. I haven't played too much Demon G in a while. So we'll do that, uh, and we'll see if we can get a good lap time. Now, the downforce, it's a little under Siri. The brakes aren't perfect, but we'll try it. So we'll hop into the automation test track, see what this thing is all about. So here we are, automation test track. Let's just jump into it. Turn off tracks to control. We don't need that where we're going. We're just going to launch it here. Oh, God. It burns the tires a lot more on this uh, less than ideal traction pavement surface. It's definitely loud, though. My gosh. Okay. I'm going to restart this. I need to focus here a lot more. I gotta sit back and focus. The brake pads are quite good, but it's a little bit lack of grip. Oh, this thing is not gonna set a record for sure. It's not gonna set any records. I'm super rusty at driving too, so you know what? I apologize, guys. It sounds so darn cool, though. I just love it. Oh, the brakes are crazy good. I felt like I was going to hit that wall there. Crazy. Gobs and gobs of power from any RPM. It's crazy. Actually, it grips quite well there. Pretty neutral. Oh, the brakes are absolutely god tier now. So literally have god tier brake pads on there. Now this is just a concept car. So it's not supposed to be obviously uber crazy. Oh no! Everything's fine. We're gonna keep going. I wouldn't worry about that. So an awful time. Over two minutes. That's totally fine. This car doesn't have the most downforce either. It doesn't have the most downforce, this car, but a 210.3, that's terrible. But that's okay, that's okay. Um, I think we're going to finish it off and take this thing to the jump arena. 1,300 horsepower! Absolutely insane. We're going to jump in the jump arena, see this thing jump, so will see you guys there. Okay, so lastly, we're the jump arena. We're going to finish off here, because we always got to finish off at the jump arena. Uh, we're just going to roll and go slow. Ah, oh, music to my ears. It sounds so cool. How fast can we go? Let's see. We got 2,050 horsepower. Pretty far. That's loud. And that's loud too. But we got to like 400 and something kilometers an hour, which is pretty quick of the jump rate. I think that's actually one of my records. Also, one of my farthest jumps overall. I mean, we got really far and the car is in great shape obviously perfect shape um overall i think the um i think the car did pretty good it looks quite good i'll leave a link to download this car in the description below if you guys want to download this car it's not perfect by any means it's not a perfect car uh, not even close look at the wheels go through the fenders a little bit but if you guys want to modify it and do stuff with it then hey you know what go at it guys um a lot of fun to make. I love playing with the sounds. I want to play with more sounds in the future, like more engine sound modifications, because we got sounds from an electric car and sounds from a gas car mixed together. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see me do next. This is a the highest horsepower three-cylinder car in automation. The new record holder. I know. Crazy. I'm a record holder. Crazy. Mom, I did it. Um, 
Big shout out to my channel members, my quad turbo channel members, Childish Sin and DD Man for supporting the channel and everyone else for supporting the channel as well. You guys mean a lot to me. Um, Again, uh, this is a challenge car. So I'm doing a challenge for this car. This is a design challenge car. It's just to, to get your, your brains kind of going and flowing here. Uh, this is my challenge car for my own challenge, which I don't get a win. Uh, the challenge ends at the end of the month. So the end of the month is when this challenge ends. If you guys want to join in this challenge, uh, again, I'll leave a link to join this Discord down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Really?